ಫಾಸ್ಟ್ ಮೈಕ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯು ಹೇಮಂತ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ಫಾರ್ ಇನ್ವೈಟಿಂಗ್ ಮೀ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ ಲಿಟಲ್ ಪವರ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೇಷನ್ ಬಟ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಮಿ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಮೆಹದಿ ಫಾರ್ ಇನ್ವೈಟಿಂಗ್ ಮೀ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇವೆಂಟ್ um so i'm 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 so happy to talk to you about the the various um, social environmental and even economic impacts of the of various uh, power projects um uh, in in my country and also elsewhere the first of all i think um, we everyone knows about various uh, power generation power sources uh, mostly in in most of the countries are based on various fossil fuel uh the fossil fuel sources are mainly uh, the oil um, or gas um and then certain countries the coal is the main uh, power generation source so when we put together all the uh, fossil based power generation it is coal it is oil and it is diesel um and sometime uh, so we use natural gas as well in all of these we take out the fossil fuel which was underneath of the soil for millions of years and we are taking out those carbon material and once we burn all this carbon material so then it emits carbon dioxide this carbon dioxide actually uh, is very new to the current atmosphere so and we already know that in the current atmosphere so the the um the level of carbon dioxide is increasing based, based because of the human activities now human activities can be mostly most most of the human activities in mold in the carbon emission is the transport i know people um, you live in bangladesh and dhaka is one of the the highest uh, traffic uh, Uh, city uh, in 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 our part so uh, the carbon dioxide emission is one of the biggest threat uh, uh, to uh, to the atmosphere and also then the fossil burning like the oil and gas and 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 coal power so once this carbon dioxide comes up so then it goes to the uh, to the sky and there it create a layer of carbon dioxide which create sort of a greenhouse gas uh, situation now i think the very first environmental impact of power generation is the emission of carbon dioxide so we have been talking about this issue for last at least four decades and in 1997 we have agreed that under the kyoto protocol that every country will reduce their carbon dioxide emission by uh 5.2% based on the 90 uh, uh, 1990 levels but unfortunately so far we are not able to reduce that carbon dioxide emission so because of that everybody knows that there's something called climate change is happening um, around the world and as a result uh, the glaciers are uh, melting um, and the temperature is rising on earth and everywhere and that's that's the main reason for glaciers melting and because of the glaciers melting the poor countries like um, bangladesh sri lanka and all these low lying countries will have a, have a severe impacts because of the um, because of the uh, the flooding or or uh, or rain or maybe even sometime droughts and in my country sri lanka in 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 2017 um, the sri lanka was uh, the second worst affected country by climate change um, I, i i i think about 275 people died uh, but according to the german climate index um, sri lanka became number 2 because the the death rate as well as uh, the the damage it has done to the various properties you know so when this climate change happen in certain areas you have uh, have uh, floods maybe in the in the same country in a different area um, you can see the droughts the floods and droughts are coming in the uh, during the same time so so one of the major impacts of uh, fossil fuel is uh, is climate change so the second 
based on our experience in Sri Lanka, we have just one coal power plant, which is called Norocholi Coal Power Plant. Um, it was uh, it was established in 2005. My organization filed the legal action in that year, but we were not able to stop that particular project. And right now we have about 900 megawatt coal power generation in Sri Lanka. But unfortunately, this coal power plant create a lot of emissions, lots of dust emissions actually because in you know, all the all the people living in that area they get a lot of uh, dust and sometimes i have visited few times but i cannot i cannot stay there i cannot breathe but unfortunately the the local people are suffering from these uh, emissions the bad smells bad gases um, and also uh, uh, the noise comes from the uh, energy plant etc so when you burn coal you get fly ash which emits from the from the uh, the stack um, and also you get the bottom mash normally they use bottom mash for certain uh, brick kilns and cement construction but in sri lanka at that time so they were not removing this bottom mash or the fly ash all the fly ash goes to the houses and also the bottom mash was stagnate so when the wind comes, all the bottom mash, fly ash, everything just blow to the houses and, and many people had sufferings. So this particular coal power plant is located very near the ocean. And this um, they, they get water from the ocean. And with that uh, water, there are a lot of fish and shrimp and everything comes inside the plant and then it gets heated and the heated water they release into the ocean again so with those dead fish and and all the um, and and at certain points so they they mix the ash with this water and then the, it all destroy the coral reefs in that area so the ocean pollution is is the is the number two uh, reason number two uh, impacts in sri lanka um, the third is actually, so we, we see a lot of air pollution and because of that so, so air, air pollution, there are a lot of health impacts, especially the people have asthma, people with the lung disease. Um, so these kind of issues we see, and especially for the older people, um, this dust is very, very bad. Then in, in 2019, we have tested the, um, the mercury levels of women who are in the childbearing stage now so we, we we choose women from 18 years to 46 years um, and we collected the hair samples from these women i think about 40 45 uh, women from two different locations and we have found one woman is having about 15 micrograms uh, or 15 parts per million um, mercury in hair. Now, everybody's asking how this mercury comes to their hair. But around the world, coal power is the number one source of mercury emission because when the mercury generate, when the, when the, when the peat converted into the coal um, in the millions of years ago, so there are certain heavy metals including mercury is inside those uh, coal coal so when the coal burns uh, starting from 40 centigrade this mercury comes out it emits to the air and also it goes to the food cycle it maybe goes to the to the lagoon there and with the lagoon through the food cycle it comes to the uh, the to the uh, to the fish and then the when you when you eat fish you get mercury in your body now, mercury is uh, normally concentrate in the nails or hair, or maybe in urine sometime, maybe in blood sometime, but most easiest way for us to get the hair samples and test the mercury level. So we found this mercury level is norm norm normally, according to the World Health Organization, mercury level should be below one uh, parts per million, but unfortunately we had 78 percent of our sample has mercury more than six parts per million so which is a very very 
high level. So the, you know the mercury is a, is a very dangerous uh, chemical and especially in, in Minamata in Japan, the, when, the, when the mercury level goes up, so you, they had this Minamata disease. So sometime uh, when you have the coal power plants nearby, especially countries like Bangladesh, where there, there are a lot of water bodies and people depend uh, on fish uh, most of the time. So those people might get mercury if they are living uh, next to the coal power plant. So these, these are some of those major issues we are encountering with the coal power plant. This is not only Sri Lanka, actually, the mercury test we have done in, in 10 different countries from Dominican Republic to Philippines, um, etc. And all these countries, we found that the women in childbearing stage who are living very near the coal power plant have very high mercury level. And that mercury can actually transfer to their children, their, their uh, next generation, and next generation might have some um, um, the health impacts. So coal power is one of the major, major power generation in Sri Lanka. Of course, we have uh, mig mega hydro, big hydropower plants, big hydro plants. It's, it's more environmentally sound, but unfortunately the mega hydropower plants, when you, when you store water in a big area and that area, you have to relocate all the people and you have to, 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 uh, to use the very good, uh, um, the, the cult cultivable lands into uh, to, to, to fill up the water and therefore uh, displacement is one of the major issue. It was an issue in India, in, in Sri Lanka, I, I'm sure in Bangladesh as well. Uh, but, but this, um, the mega hydro is, is also a, a major issue um, in Sri Lanka. At the same time, mini hydro, and we have, we have 103 rivers in Sri Lanka. In these 103 rivers, we have more than 300 mini hydropower plants. Actually, mini hydropower plants can, they, they block the whole river and then the water doesn't go down. And some of the fish species goes upstream for laying eggs. Now, so when you have a, a dam across the river, so they cannot move up. And certain, certain people suggest that you can have a, um, a sort of a fish ladder, but fish ladder is not working in our part because we are, we are not talking about the salmon, uh, which is salmon is, 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 is an American and, and a European type of uh, fish, but they can jump to the other, other places. But in, in our country, so our fish is not, uh, can, cannot, cannot go through the fish ladders. But at the same time, when the, when they block the river, about a few kilometers downstream completely get dried up um, and the people who are using that water cannot have access to water and that river dies. I have a lot of pictures, but unfortunately I cannot uh, show my PowerPoint presentation for some reason, but, uh, but uh, it is, um, so we have so many dry rivers and I think altogether more, more than 200 kilometers of rivers in Sri Lanka, not, they have dried up. So therefore we have these big issues with the, the mini hydro as well. But, but nowadays we are getting a lot of other new type of uh, uh, power generation. One is the waste to energy. Um, about a month ago, Sri Lanka started the first waste to energy. So in, in Colombo city, we generate, we, we generate about 800 metric tons of uh, waste, but this waste, so they started burning about a month ago. And when you burn all these waste, you get a lot of bad uh, uh, gases, for example. So when you burn PVC, polyvinyl chloride, like the plastics and all, you get uh, dioxins, furans, those are cancer causing um, uh, chemicals, um, emissions. But at the same time, burning um, the garbage into energy generation is again similar to the burning of coal. So it emits carbon dioxide, it contribute to the, it negatively contribute to the, um, the climate change. So therefore waste to energy is not a solution. Although there are many countries are talking about waste to energy as a, as a solution for waste issue, as well as the energy generation issue. But in certain countries, um, I mean, the, although Sri Lanka doesn't have geothermal, geothermal is another way that they can generate 
electricity. But unfortunately, very few countries have this uh, this geothermal. Uh, but it again destroy um, the waste uh, waste. Uh, I mean, it again destroy the natural resources. Um, but I, I think um, I mean the two end. And so we have all these traditional uh, uh, power generation. Um, these are these are have a lot of negative impacts. It has social impacts, it has environmental impacts, uh, because the countries like Sri Lanka doesn't have the coal. We always have to import from either Indonesia or from uh, South Africa. Uh, but countries like Bangladesh have coal, so but that coal is not a quality coal. So then, therefore, uh, if you burn the bad coal, definitely the uh, emission, air pollution, dust pollution, um, ash pollution, um, all of them are very, very bad. So therefore, so you have to be very careful if you if you are going to support coal power plant because you have to accept the fact that uh, coal power generation is is very bad. Um, but at the same time, right now, um, the certain countries go for solar, which is I see in, in across the country, Bangladesh and Sri Lanka, everywhere we are promoting solar. But in certain countries, there's no good policy uh, policies to support uh, solar power. But solar is one of the cleaner energy. Um, then we have the wind energy. Uh, I, I would I must say that uh, in, in Sri Lanka, there was a, there's one wind power plant um, and and but that is located within within India and Sri Lanka, where the birds are flying towards Sri Lanka. So because the emission is is very high, uh, because because the damage to the bird is high, so we oppose to this power plant. So therefore, the Asian Development Bank agreed to put up a emergency radar system. Uh, somewhere in the Adams Bridge between Sri Lanka and India. So when the big numbers of blur birds are flying towards Sri Lanka, so it will automatically shut down all the wind power plants. So so wind power is one of the uh, one of the better source. Um, then then certain countries are promoting wave power. So um, I think uh, so there are major impacts because of the traditional uh, ways of energy generation. But now we see a lot of uh, cleaner energy generation through the new renewable sources. So I, I think as as the as the next generation, you should support uh, renewable energy generation rather than um, rather than supporting coal power. Although the government and the engineers mostly say that the coal power is good because they can maintain the base load, but unfortunately the impacts are so high. So therefore, I think country and the in, in I see there are many many projects. Uh, in Bangladesh, supported by the Chinese government, um, the Japanese government, and or the Asian Development Bank, sometime. So therefore, you have to careful that not to support um, the coal power, not to support waste to energy, not to support uh, gas or um, other source of fossil fuel, but always um, ask them to um, to install um, wind, solar. Uh, wave power if possible. So those are the renewable sources that we are talking today. Thank you so much for the opportunity.